Well guys, there's only so many Iranian music videos that I could find, so we'll just have to make do with a flock of seagulls. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, so picking up where we left off, we're about to get the addresses for the three primary suspects in our Iranian Seven Style Slain. And lol and behold, folks, our first suspect is a guy at a hospital, sometimes known as a doctor. Uh, long story short, he didn't do it. No, no, it's pretty much, we talked to the guy once, and he's like, yeah, I used to live a life of crime, but then when I was in prison, I was like, nah, this crime thing sucks, I'm gonna become a doctor. And I became a doctor. And because of that story, and really nothing else, clearly this man is a saint, and we should leave him alone and head on to the next guy. Well, hellfire and damnation, he dead. Yeah, and they just left his obituary hanging on the front door of where he used to live, because I guess that is a time on Iranian tradition, and who am I to judge? Speaking of judging, let's go to the third guy and judge him to be a killer, hopefully because of the process of elimination. <laughs> Jesus, damn that in Christ. It's not this guy either. So the identification department failed to identify anybody. I mean, did they just pick three names out of the phone book or something? Because we're pretty much back to square one. Well, except we have a fantastic headshot of the killer and a lot of evidence that he did it. All right, so we haven't found the guy yet, but at least we don't have to worry about this becoming headline news. And oh yeah, sure as shit, it is headline news. And somehow this paper, the NU and you managed to get a copy of the snuff film that a murderer left behind. I mean, how well did they get those photos of the guy being killed to be on the front page? Huh, well that means we got some kind of Snoopy Susan here at Iranian police headquarters who's selling stuff to the press. Damn, we just got so many fish to fry. And then what is par for the course happens. We get our ass chewed out by our boss. He's like, ah, keep this out of the papers. And we're like, okay, why? He's like, just cause is what we do in these things. It's all right, we got yelled at. So now let's go to a fresh crime scene because guess what? The killer done struck again. Salam jalab karago afshar. Manam az didanetun khoshalam. So the clone cop says, hey, the murder don't happen at 11 in the morning, which seems really early for a murder. Jeez, I don't even have my coffee in me by then. But anyway, there's not a whole lot to do other than talk to the cops. And yeah, you may be thinking, well, shouldn't we investigate the crime scene? No, because after we talk to the cop who's on the roof, he's like, you know, there's neighbors around here. And our detective's like, hmm, I should talk to them before looking at the crime scene because that's what I'm doing. And don't argue with me. This is a linear adventure game. سلام روزتون بخیر روز میخوام یه وقتتون رو میگیرم من افشار هستم از اداره آگاهی So this is the only neighbor in the entire neighborhood. A high-pitched, red suit-wearing fella that calls us Colonel. I think he's trying to suck up. And speaking of sucking, this guy really doesn't tell us any information that we probably couldn't have found by looking through the crime scene. He's like, hey, that guy, my neighbor from across the street, he sold meth. I saw him sell meth. I called the cops on him. But he was such a good meth dealer, he hit the meth always before the cops would show up and yeah that's pretty much it so it's more or less fit in the little mold we got for our killer we just need to figure out which sin he committed so yeah let's finally investigate the crime scene i do believe there's a good song about this kind of thing it's why they call me Well, I had no idea that that was a deadly sin, being a bad friend, bad companion, or just bad company. Although bad companies worked out for Paul Rogers, at least better than the firm or the law. But anyway, yeah, this dude was murdered by our serial killer because, well, he was a bad friend. Now, you may be wondering what exactly does that mean? I'm not really sure. Our detective seems convinced that this dude was just a terrible human being, undeserving of any sympathy because he probably ripped 
ticked off drug addicts? Maybe. Or maybe he didn't share enough of his hookah with his friends. It's really hard to say. But either way, the detective has no sympathy, and the game really wants to stress that this dude was not really that great of a person, without really specifying why other than he sold drugs. Which quite honestly feels way too hardcore on the drug war for my taste. So after perusing through the dead man's most intimate objects, we find a safe that was left behind by the murderer. And we open it by typing in sin, because yeah, the killer's that on the nose. Mark, Mark. And what we find in it is a photograph, and yeah, I'm not gonna use the same song in the same series. But, something rather interesting happens when you flip it over, which you absolutely have to do in order to progress in the game, because the other side contains a hint. But this is what happens when you investigate the other side of this oh-so-glamorous photograph. Push the axe, sodas. Which code is this? فقط قسمتی از یه لوگو هست که شاید بچه های تشخیص حوییت بتونن بفهمن مال کجاست. برحال فکر میکنم از هیچی بهتره. خب باید اینو به بچه ها تحفیل بدم. Yeah, Jefferson Starship was a really weird band. But, as indicated by the song, there is no way out. Once you click on the back of that photograph, which again, allow me to reiterate, you absolutely have to do in order to progress in the game, you get stuck in this endless loop where he'll say something, you'll see the back of the photo, you click anywhere on the screen, and he just says the same dialogue again and again and again. I swear to God, is one of the circles of hell. And don't think you can escape out of it, because you can't. So you may be wondering, ah, has a developer patched this game to fix this problem? Well, as of this recording, no. Yeah, the only workaround that I know of in order to solve this little bug right here, which I imagine shouldn't be really all that hard to do, is to download a save file and just play from that. I kid you not, folks. Salam Afsar Muhammad. So now that the developer's done save scum for us, let's pick up where presumably we would have left off had the letter actually worked right. So yeah, we just give the letter to the identification department people, which means they'll probably do some random Google image search and say, hey, this is the thing. And yeah, of course, the killer left behind a video of his murder because that's just his thing. Really, we should call him the video killer, not the seven ripoff killer. Yek film takandahande vasad albatte didani o shenidani. Hala, avvalin puku az dastan. Goftan bekesh. <laughs> بذارین اعترافات عبرت آموز باشه چه حالا با چند نفر مثل من این کارو کردی و اونا رو به ذلت کشوندی ها Well, right, based on that snuff film alone, clearly that man deserved death. I still don't know what he did, though. I'm awfully curious, but I'm sure the killer had some raisins. And speaking of really strange things, the identification department found that symbol that was on the back of the photograph, and they printed out a copy for us, which you would think means, hey, we now know what the symbol is, but no. You see, first, we have to complete a puzzle minigame thing to recreate the symbol, even though we already have a printout of the symbol, and the thing we had wasn't even tore up to begin with, so we're just doing this, I guess, to decompress from watching the snuff film. We're doing a jigsaw, just cause. Oh, in Ali Karaga. Mamnuna. Yes, clearly we are the world's greatest detective. It's not like we have headshots of the killer that are really good and videos of him actually committing the murders. I mean, Jesus Christ, do you even need a detective for this case? So now that we're done with all that filler, let's go ahead and find out that that mysterious symbol is actually a symbol for some photography studio. Who would have thunk it? But after all that detecting, our detective has to go home and read a passive-aggressive letter left behind by his wife and bake a casserole. Because this game needs more fillers than a TV dinner. 
Oh, she used to be pretty, but now she's just pretty fucked up. Well, by golly, that looks like some of the best loading scenes in the business. But oh yeah, um, we get another dream sequence, cause you know, after cooking supper, we fell asleep. So you know, sitcom shenanigans are gonna happen. But first, we gotta have something heavy. فرامرز فرامرز تو اینجا خوابیدی و خونه رفته رو هوا کجایی مرد Now, ladies and gentlemen, the never had button in between, you may find it very hard to believe, but that was not me. I did not edit in that scene from Seven. No, that is straight up, honest to God, 100% actual in-game footage. Our Iranian boys done put a scene from Seven in their Seven ripoff game, and it's amazing. The audacity, I'm pretty sure they did not pay to show those clips. Moreover, it's amazing too how just on the nose they are browbeating you all with this whole thing like, yes, this is really Seven inspired. Look, the man's watching Seven and he's actually solving a case that's kind of like Seven, but actually not really. <laughs> oh my God, the audacity of them boys in Iran. Salam, Karagaf Okay, let's find our bearings now. So, our wife hates us, but we needn't worry because, quite honestly, we'll never see her again for the rest of the game. Spoiler alert, Seven doesn't happen to her, which is a goddamn shame because she wasn't very nice to us. She seemed really passive-aggressive about the fact that we had to be a detective solving murders. And oh yeah, speaking of murders, there's been another murder that fits the bill of the Seven Slayer. Turns out it was at a farm, so I guess where we going now? Yeah, we're gonna see some cows. سلام کارو که افشار استدعا می کنم اتفاقا منم باید می رفتم اما منتظر بودم گزارش و خدمتتون عرض بکنم بعد مرخص بشم I hear you lady, the man was murdered inside, you don't have a whole lot of information about it, except he was a famous wrestler slash boxer. No, the translation's very confused. Sometimes they say he was a championship boxer, and other times they say he's a championship wrestler. So I'm assuming in Persian the two are mighty similar, because the translation does not seem to know if the man boxed or wrestled. جنازه بابک شفی با صورتی سوخته و دهانی پر از مخدر شیشه تنام بالای سرم مثل تن... So the wrestling boxer guy had his mouth filled with meth and he was hung by the killer. Uh, that sounds like a lot of goddamn work. And speaking of a lot of goddamn work, we have to do that in order to... I don't even remember anymore, folks. This whole area just feels like it's filler. Then again, it does make sense. These cows are probably fed corn. Oh, I remember, you see, uh, the killer, he left a sign for us on the ground here. And apparently we cannot read that it says weakness because I have no idea. Instead, we need to get this elevator working, which again involves another minigame. Like the one you saw before, which is like that classic minigame that's in every friggin' cheesy hidden object or adventure game. We have to fill liquids, which is going to fill them in a certain amount each time. There's a lot of back and forth. And yeah, oh my god, it's terrible. I don't know what it's called, but it is vile and evil and a waste of my time to even discuss it. So, all right, I guess I should explain how I got this damn elevator working. Basically, I made a phone call in my PDA. It is the first and the only time I ever had to make a call in this game. And you know why we had to make the call? Because our detective could not detect that he needed to fix the elevator. He needed to call someone to say, yo, dummy, fix the elevator, which he does via mini game. And yeah, this is all the hoopla's about. We can read weakness, something we could clearly read from the goddamn ground. And of course we find one of the cinematic masterpieces left behind by the killer just laying around in some hay. And yeah, it is what you expect by this point, folks. 
turns out he was a great championship boxer or wrestler, but then he got addicted to meth, and now he has to burn alive because, you know, he wasted his potential, I guess. Well, that was gritty and excessive, but hey, remember that symbol for the photography store we found earlier on the video? Why, let's go there in the dead of night and talk to the guy, because we need more evidence against this guy. So for convoluted reasons, it turns out the killer went to the store to take photos, and they have some of his photos in the archive, so we gotta develop them and take them with us. I, I don't know again, but I'm sure there's good reasons for it. Now, I won't exactly lie to y'all, because I don't exactly remember why we have to go here, but for some reason, because we have the photograph, we now have the name of the guy, so now we can go to the archives and actually look him up, even though the identification department could not be able to do that. It just blows my mind. We're doing other people's work now. But yeah, we found out who the killer is. Woohoo. Like, we already had a really good shot of him so early on in the game. Why the hell did nobody not wander down here and look at this case file? I have no idea. Oh, right, we got an audio glitch. Fan friggin' tastic. Let's just go to the damn guy's house and peruse his stuff and get over with this damn experience. Oh, salam rahim, Mijan. Hey, Oh, it turns out the door is locked to his house and it's still a blocked off crime scene because I guess when someone's murdered in Iran, they never open the house back up again. It seems like it's been a while since his family done been murdered, but I don't know how things work. But yeah, we have to go back to base and play a mini game with the colonel because he'll only unlock the crime scene if we can prove that we can still shoot a gun. Mm-mm-mm, best minute game ever. You just click and shoot and the game says you fail, but then it's like, just kidding, our words hold no meaning. You succeeded. Go back to the crime scene and hurry up and put a bow on this puppy. There's blood and guts and dust and the whole place is a mess and they're just gonna leave it like this until the end of the world, I suppose. But yeah, we do find that there's a new fresh phone book left here and we open it and guess what? We figure out that, oh my god, killer's gonna kill his stepmother. And we get it there just in the nick of time to see that she's dead. Oh well, some great detective we are. And rinse and repeat the formula. We find a film. We find out she was irresponsible. And they yeah, have reason enough to kill her, I suppose. Bamir! Bamir! <laughs> 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 So the killer, after murdering his stepmom, or maybe it was his real mama, I don't know, he taunts the detective and says, Meet me at this address. Rawr. We're ready for the climactic standoff, or the game's just running out of steam, because, I mean, we haven't even gotten up to seven murders. There's only been four. Jeez. What a letdown. So we oblige the creepy killer, and he just left a note on this door that pretty much says, Hey, uh... I wanted to show you the reasons why someone gets hopeless and what happens to them in the end. So, yeah, I kill some people. That's pretty much it. Just as some act of revenge for my own failings as a man. I guess that's pretty much it. And yeah, now for something completely different. This is the game's climax, folks, right here. It's a test. I don't want to go to this so I suppose the developers were none too convinced that people actually paid attention to the game. So in order to actually end the game, you have to take this quiz that goes over all the killings and why they happened and what the killer's motivations were. And the game also implies too that there's a fifth killing that we don't know anything about. It feels like something that was lit on the cutting room floor because the game talks about why did the killer let this guy go? And I don't recall at any point in this game there being a victim that was let go. So, I feel like that was just something they threw in there and forgot to cut out when they realized that crap, making video games takes a lot of time and energy. So yeah, after just kind of randomly guessing, because as you imagine, the translation really becomes suspect here, because some of the things they say are like, what the hell are they talking about? But anyway, after just really randomly guessing, I got this ending. Maybe there's multiple endings, maybe not. So, enjoy folks.
من معتاد شیشه بودم ماده ای که همه چیزو از من رو بود حتی سرمایه اصلیمو خونواده و همسر من بزرگترین گناهکار مجموعه ایم که اونا رو به سزای جرمشون رسوندم Yeah, so he's just puking up stuff we already know. He killed his family, so he killed all the people that may or may not have indirectly led to the death of his family because he was all hopped up on meth and killed people. So I guess he used to party with the rich guy, so he had to die first. And he bought his meth from the drug dealer, so he had to kill him. And I guess the boxer wrestler guy, he hung out with him too, so obviously he had to die. And the stepmama started all because she didn't give him enough loving. And yeah, this guy is a real piece of work. فکر می کردم شیشه لعنتی منو از سیاهی رها میکنه و دورم میکنه اما قافل از اینکه این سیاهی رو نیز محو و منو چون مذاب گداخته داخ کرد و سزود The end, he hung himself, he's dead. That was all really for nothing. Wow, this game. <laughs> oh, Detective Grandson, the reactionary detective. That should be the title of it. Because literally, we do very little detecting in this game at all. We just follow the lead of this killer. And it's not even quite like a cat and mouse game. It's like, no, we just keep following these really big, obvious clues he leaves behind until eventually he just kills himself and we find his body. And we're like, whew, hardest case we ever had to do. Oh my God, folks, <laughs> what can I say? This thing exists. I hope they keep making more of them because in a strange way, they are remarkable. Have a good day, folks.